Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on rounding off. Depending on the situation at hand, we sometimes need to round off a measurement to end up with a very acceptable approximation. Let us look at this further by doing some examples which will demonstrate the above statement. Example 1, round off 73 to the nearest 10. The red dot shows that 73 is nearer to 70 than to 80, hence 73 rounded off to the nearest 10 is 70. So that's a rough approximation where 73 is. You can see that's the distance to 70 and that's the distance to 80, so it is closer to 70. Example 2, round off 63,320 to the nearest 1,000. If we are rounding off 63,320 to the nearest thousand, we can see that it is closer to 63,000. Hence, 63,320 rounded off to the nearest 1,000 is 63,000. Because you can see the distance from there to there, and you can see the distance from there to there, so it's a lot closer to 63,000. Now these are only sketches, but they give you just a good idea just by looking at them. Example 3. Round off 144 to the nearest 10. The red dot above is the approximate location for 144. We can see that this is closer to 140 than to 150. So, 144 rounded off to the nearest 10 is 140. That's fairly obvious because from the red dot to there that's pretty short and from there to there it's a little bit larger. Example 4, round off 780 to the nearest 100. The red dot above is the approximate location for 780. We can see that this is closer to 800 than to 700. So 780 rounded off to the nearest 100 is 800. Now here are two very interesting real world examples and it'll just give you an indication why rounding off can be very very useful in everyday life. Example 5. John knows that the distance from town A to town B is 1753.830 kilometers because he checked it out using his automatic distance calculator which can measure distances to the nearest 10 meters. John's family live in town A and his dad wants to visit town B at some stage in the future because of its historical significance. Dad asks John about the approximate distance from town A to town B. What should John say to Dad? Answer. Telling Dad the exact distance to three decimal places is not practical. Dad would be happy to know that the distance is very close to 1,750 kilometres. This is rounded off to the nearest 10 kilometres. The reason here is when you're talking about such a large distance, you know, an approximation to the nearest 10 kilometres is very, very acceptable because you're talking about 1,750, so it's a long, long, long way. So 10 kilometres here or there is not going to make much difference because Dad just wants a rough idea. So there's no way you would give him this answer here. It would just confuse him. Example 6. Dad wanted to know how long the garage was because he was not sure if his truck would fit into it comfortably. When John used his scientific measuring instrument, he told that Dad that the garage was 0 0.015 kilometres long. Dad was scratching his head because he was very confused. How can Dad's mind be put at ease? The answer, John should set his scientific measuring instrument to give the length in metres. Dad would be very happy to know that the length of the garage 
was 15 metres. See, when you want to put a truck in, you're not talking about kilometres, because what's a truck? It's only, you only measure the length of a truck in metres. So you don't want to give Dad any measurements in kilometres, so this is the best way to go.